So welcome to another episode of the Supercar Diaries and welcome to the Ferrari F8. Got an Enlargo, got the normal F8 Spider and today we're going to have a little talk about the subtle, just very subtle differences between these two cars. Just take this in for a second. This is an Enlargo version, but it's almost like a slightly specced down or not a completely fully specced version. It doesn't have all the bits and pieces that you find on the red one. Now, the Enlargo kit is a complete carbon fiber kit. If you stand over there, you can probably see that it's substantially wider than the normal F8. This is the Spider. Oi! Hi! You're too loud! <laughs> So this goes 13 centimeters wider than the standard one. At the back you can see how it's been widened over this shoulder and just standing between these two, this car looks minuscule. It just looks so petite and this so fat. These 22 inch NF10 rims, the tires just looking sexy with that center lock look as opposed to whatever that is. Moving back to the front. The nose of the F8 has changed with the Enlargo. You can see that especially around the lights over here, there's a lot of detail in the standard one, little slants and slits over there. We sort of kept it a little bit more simple. And of course, these those carbon fiber wings on the front there as well. Now, over here, the, the, the duck where the air sort of goes in there and pops over there, that is normally also in carbon fiber as well as this portion over here but in this model that's not the case and the red one that is the case and of course in the standard one that's not i should say about this car that it even rides lower than the standard standard f8 this got our suspension in but just look at the difference it makes having our suspension in there but not our wheels they go hand in hand and look at this carrying on you can see the fenders here in the front substantially wider than that which you have on the standard f8 of course with the slants over here the uh, air escaping through the the mirror how sexy are these mirrors uh, as opposed to the standard one when i'm standing beside the car over here i can see our carbon fiber side skirt when i look this side there's nothing you got a little bit over here and a little bit over there, black plastic, I'm so sorry. We've talked about the air inlet over here. I do like this on the standard one. I find this a sexy addition, but we've just gone with that, integrated it in here because the whole car is wider. Let's look at the top. So we're not gonna talk about the roof scoop and all that because obviously the roof comes off. But look at this. Mm. This is to die for. And what's super cool about this carbon fiber roof scoop and engine cover is the fact that it's lit up on the inside it's got little leds so at night you go to your car you go blip, blip, and they just go on it's so sexy of course that gorgeous twin turbo v8 motor in there but not everything over here has been done it's not the full spec so here if you bring the camera a bit closer look what yeah okay this we do in carbon fiber lacquer have your nomenclature on there and look at this calm fiber ductile wing. This is so sexy. Check the wind tunnel film that we made and just see what kind of aero this actually creates. Super sexy, as well as that roof scoop. It's a functional roof scoop, pushes fresh, cooler air into the engine bay, much needed. Now, if we just quickly swap over here, Yoma goes like, where is the wing, people? It's here, it's integrated, it's super subtle. This is why you wanna have the Enlargo kit. Or our ductile wing. So what we're gonna do is turn these two cars around and have a look what happens at the back. What a difference these back wheels make, eh? Just look at that, the substantial size difference. Look at this. Look at this. That, my dear, is why we do what we do. Here we can have 
a look again from the ducktail uh, at the ducktail. If you look at it this way, maybe the way the camera is, you can see this and then sort of see how it just totally hides the one in the background. There's something lovely about putting carbon fiber on a black car because initially when you look at it, you maybe don't spot it so you know immediately, but when you look a bit closer, it starts revealing, the car starts revealing itself, all these bits and pieces coming out. This car hasn't yet, or it's not fitted with our Intronic plug and play power upgrade system in combination with the sports exhaust, the complete system, and that gives that car all the power. I can't remember for the sake of it now exactly how much it is, but this is not as much. It does have more power than the standard one because of the cat replacement pipe. So it's going to be interesting to see. It's kind of like as it is with the looks in between these two, performance-wise similar. Let's go take this car for a little drive and then also film a POV and then put all three next to each other and do our Novitec Desi battle. By the way, if you haven't yet, then feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like this video, leave us some comments. Which one do you like? On what fashion do you like? What color would you like? And also, you can follow us on Instagram. Me personally, at Beyond the Cock. Yes, that is my name. And Novitech at Novitech Group. Let's go. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Everything's going my way. From the first time that I drove the standard, well, not the standard, the Novitec uh, Ferrari F8, it felt to me like it could very well be a car that you could actually date. A supercar that is daily worthy. We've got the flaps closed, which means neighbors are happy. Steering is very easy, soft but not uncommunicative. The ride is subtle. And this has got our suspension in it, which means it's supposed to be toit, but it aren't. Uh, we've made a film on the F8 in Largo, and you can go and watch that. So this is just gonna be a fun drive. We have left the city, so. There we go. Slightly louder. Now, I didn't make as much of a difference as you'd expect because of course, this car doesn't have the full, complete sport exhaust system that we offer. Twin turbocharged, 3.9 liter V8 engine. That does not beg to go slow. It is a very, very fast car. Everything else is lost. This turbo is spooling up nicely. Love it. Man, these cars with proper exhaust systems just engage so much on an audible level. about to fall off. Just for you. How incredibly quick this car gets to 100, which is what our speed limit is here. It's just ridiculous. Seriously about as ridiculous as these gear changes. And then the thing looks damn fine as well. This is magic. Honestly, this is magic. It's, it's really every responsible supercar driver actually needs to invest into an exhaust system that has one of these. Because if you want to go outside and shoot your guns, then do it. But when you want to come home, be respectful. That's your thing. This is how you do it.
have finished another Enlargo. This one is fresh, freshly Enlargo. Let's have a quick look at the two Enlargo versions. You can immediately see this one even better because of the red color and the carbon fiber, how this just stands out really nice for that air duct over there. Also, this section over here in carbon fiber and this over here on the hood. I think this part is so important. It makes a huge difference on this car. Quickly have a look on this side. It's almost like something's missing, isn't it? That's where that carbon fiber piece goes uneventful without the carbon fiber outlet exiting bit as such and that bit over there as we said is visible there coming more to this side little carbon fiber triangles at the gorgeous mirrors you don't have it on this one it's just shiny black so often we change the exterior of a car but we neglect to tell people that we do the interiors as well i think it's just a stunning, stunning seat cover that. It's one of the things I can complain about having just driven with the standard seats in this F8 in Lago. It's just, they don't feel like they support you so much. These babies, however, just love the detail in that. It's not just that we do the seats, we can really do a crazy bunch of things. Not to forget the door handles in carbon fiber as well. At the back, there's another difference. You can see in this one, as we said, the uh, plastic black diffuser. This is what you need to get. Gorgeous carbon fiber. It's just so much more beauty in here. Carbon fiber, just, it is the way to go. And also, love just how the lines in this car is way more aggressive than you get on the standard F8. We talked about the shoulder lines over there, but everything has got so many little corners and edges. It looks so tremendously sexy. Of course, this part over here with the nomenclature, Ferrari nomenclature being in carbon fiber, as we said on this one, not the case. The Novitech Desi battle, really cool. We've got three cars. Everybody else is doing drag races. We're just gonna do a Desi battle. Starting with the F8 Spider, completely stock standard exhaust, nothing done to it. Let's see how loud it is. That is a completely and utterly frightening 100 decibels, comma nine. Now it'll be interesting to see how much this one kicks out. This is our not fully specced in Lago version of the F8. It has the cat replacement pipes, but at the back it's just the standard exhaust pipe of the F8. So let's see what that sounds like. You can regulate it with the flaps. So flaps open and give it the beans. Not too bad at 110.3. Now, of course, the creme de la creme with this, it's got Sport Catalyst in there and then a complete Novitech Sport exhaust system. This is with the flaps open. <laughs> to the naked ear, it sounds a lot louder. It's nearly 113, 112,9 decibels for this puppy. But <laughs> I don't know if it just is about the noise, about how loud it is, but it, the sound is just so good. You guys can let me know on the comment section what you thought was best. Obviously, it's not going to be that one unless you're green in the face. So between these two, let me know which one was your favorite. That's going to go up on the board. 
there is one more alternative in case you wanted to go completely crazy and that is if you combine these two so you can take the cat replacement pipe so this has got sport catalysts in chuck those out replace them with the cat replacement pipes duh and then it has the complete sports exhaust system from Novitec which is obviously going to be an AB hating exhaust system it's going to be sounding so so very good and you can still turn it into less neighbor hating mode so there's hate and despise and so on and so forth that would be the optimal non plus ultra crazy exhaust system you can have the best of both worlds you can have the best of both worlds if you like that if you like the best of both worlds if you digs this car give us a thumbs up for this video if you liked it and feel free to comment down below see you guys in the next vlog ciao freaking do yoga and train my neck muscles for this car looks amazing man die ding is funnig man